Good evening, folks! Sergio here, and today I'm pretty excited. Well, I'm always excited, but today I'm especially excited because we've just started a new cohort. And they did ask me a lot of questions. Actually, every single one of them, almost every single one of them, did jump on a call with me before they have signed up for the course. And they have asked me quite a few interesting questions. And one of them was the most popular. I'm pretty sure you guys are also asking this question all the time whenever you are planning to sign up for the bootcamp. And that question was, what was it? What is your student success rate? Or how many people out of group find a job? This is amazing question to ask, but this is not an easy one to answer. And I'm going to answer this one and also a few more, such as why should they choose our bootcamp versus others? And are those reviews real on Google and everywhere else, including YouTube? So I'm going to answer these three questions after I'll tell you who am I and what am I doing here. My name is Sergey Kromchenko. I am a software QA engineer, lead manager, and a senior engineer manager of SDAT in the past. These days, or for the last six years, I've been teaching people like you how to become software QA engineers from scratch or to improve your existing skills. And now, before we jump into those questions, I would like to highly recommend you guys to hit the subscribe button below, especially to hit the like button, because I know not every one of you guys does it. So please do it right now. Please hit that like button below. If you'd like to thank this guy for recording so much useful material for completely free and posting on YouTube. All right, now let's get started. So how many people find a job or what is the student success rate? Well, it generally will be the same for majority of schools, but I will speak for mine. So for Codemify, if anyone ever tells you that student success rate is 100%, that's lie. If anyone tells you the student success rate is 90%, that's still lie. 80, still lie. You know why? Because not every student will finish the education. Not every student actually wants to get a job. Not every student will apply for a job. So let's split all of the students into three major groups. First group, those are the people who sign up for the course and they are not even planning to apply for a job. It could be for a variety of reasons. Some people just come for skills. Some people understand during the education that they want to do what they did before. Actually, just like this guy, I'm going to leave a link right here. He was working as the woodman. He had his own business. But he decided to try, to try something else. He did try it. He learned a lot, but by the end of the course, he understood, well, you can watch it on your own. And other kinds of people, such as people who already have jobs in QA, but they want to improve their existing skills. So those will never even apply for a job. Second group are those who are thinking about it, whose mom sent them here, whose sister, brother, I don't know, wife, fiance send them here and they're like well i'll try it it might be not my thing i'll give it a shot but i'll not sure if i'll apply for a job not sure if it's my thing those people might might not make it to the end those people might make it to the end they might apply for a couple of jobs they will not listen to my advices they will quit because well they did a work i applied for 20 jobs and eh, well whatever and that's okay not everyone will become a q engineer unless you really want to get to it and the third group which is my favorite those people are those who will apply for a job as much as it takes. Those people are those who will listen to my advices. Those people are those who will do what I will tell them to do. Because I have my own strategy, which works in 90% of the cases. I could call it 100, but I did not do the right analytics for it to call it 100. So my strategy works and a lot of people did verify it. And you can see majority of them on YouTube, actually, with our success student reviews, I'm going to leave a link right here for one of them or maybe even for a playlist. And those people who will not give up until they find a job are the group in number three. Because the question is, I mean, you will all get the job if you don't give up. But how long is it going to take? That's the main question. For some people, it takes two months. For some people, it takes actually one month to find a job. For some people, it might take up to a year. Actually, I just had one case where the guy 
got a job one year after he started applying. We didn't record a video with him yet because he just got a job and he said, well, give me a couple of months to gain more confidence and then I'll come to the YouTube. Everyone tells me not everyone actually gets to the YouTube, but hopefully this guy will ask majority of people that you have already seen on a YouTube. So he did get his job offer one year after he started applying. But the thing is, he started applying for a couple of months. He didn't gain confidence because of his English level and other, uh, other factors. And then he quit applying for half a year. Half a year after, he started applying again. Three months after his inactive job search, as he called it, someone reached out to him on LinkedIn. He went through an interview and he got a job offer recently in Las Vegas, Nevada. So the main question is, how long are you ready to keep fighting through until you get a job? So the third group is my favorite. And for that group, People would get a job in 90 plus percent of the cases. Only in that group. Previous two, that would be rarely. Because they don't even apply for a job or maybe they apply for a few, they tried, they didn't study very well, they didn't listen to my advices and they didn't get a job offer and they quit. That's it. If you are planning to change your life, if you are planning to become a QA engineer, make sure that you allocate yourself into group number Three. Second question, and one of the most interesting ones. This one is very similar to the question during the interview. Why should we hire you? And I don't like this question at all, but I have an answer to every single question that you guys will ever have to me. But let me quickly grab my laptop to give you a good answer. 2000 years later. So the question sounds like, why Cognify? Why should we choose your school? And today we had our first webinar with a group number 18. And I've asked every single one of them, why did you choose us? And why did you choose us versus other schools? So I'm going to give you 16 answers. So the first one was the guy actually went through a number bootcamp and then he saw a YouTube channel and then he already took an automation course, but he couldn't do homeworks on time. So now he's taking manual course again with an automation course as well. So he said that the teaching techniques are better here. The second person said that number one thing is the trust because of the so much work that I have put on YouTube, so much useful content that I put for free and the way I explain things on YouTube that made the guy choose our bootcamp, not the other bootcamp. And also Reddit because on Reddit, all of the other schools got a lot of trash and our, ours did not. Well. Probably that's because a lot of people did get a job and I did not see anyone there was. Actually, there was one unhappy guy and you guys can see him on Google, on a Google review. So there is only one star, but that was an exception out of hundreds, if not thousands of people so far. Third one, and one of my favorites actually, the guy said other companies, other boot camps did try to sell the course to him. He said that the salesman started asking like, hey, what is your wife planning to get for the Christmas? And the guy was like, what are you guys talking about? I'm planning to change my life. You're trying to sell me some crap. So he put a red flag on those companies. And when he called me, I was just like, yo, dude, if you want to study, you want to study, I'll give you everything that I have. I'll give you all the knowledge. If you are planning to join automation court, it, start, it starts next week. If you're planning to join automation, it starts then. No pressure at all. If uh, Let me know if I can help you. That guy saw the honesty. He did not see the fact that I was selling the course. He saw the fact that I can help him if he would like me to. So that's why he chose us and not someone else. Next one, the cost was better. He said that our school cost was $2,000 more than us. And then he saw the YouTube, he saw the quality of the job that we do on a YouTube, even for free. So he was like, well, if these guys put so much material on a YouTube, if they have such a great reviews on a YouTube and if they cost less, I'll definitely choose them. And that makes sense to me. Friends, we're receiving a lot of questions about a QA career path, such as how can I find out how much can I earn as the beginner or experienced QA engineer? What does the career path look like? How long does it take to get there? And also, would I be able to make it in my current situation? And that's exactly why, aside of all of the videos that I have recorded for the YouTube, I have decided to prepare a new guide, which will only be available here for you guys. It will answer most of your questions about a career path, bonuses, and a life 
life of the QA engineers. And you can find this guide right below this video in the description. Click the link and download it while it's available. If you would like to understand if the QA engineer profession is suitable for you, or whether our course will help you to build a successful career, you can book a free consultation with me. And I'm not going to give you all the classic BS about hurry up, amount of time is limited, click right here, but my time is actually limited and you can see that in the calendar of mine by following the link right below this video. Alrighty, next one. Schedule fit. We have flexible schedule. Our webinars are on different days. So we have three different webinars, two during the work weeks and one on the weekend. During the work weeks, it's from 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. a couple of days a week and one on Saturday morning to fit schedule of those who are working full-time night shifts or who are in Europe or other countries. If you would miss the weekly webinars, which we will always record, you would see them in recording, plus you would have a chance to join us on Saturday mornings. And if you guys ever have a question like, why are we having only two to three webinars one hour per week? You can ask me that in the comment below. I'll explain it in another video. After the schedule, the way we put info was enough. The person also saw us on a YouTube and the guy said, well, I saw how you explain things professionally on a YouTube and that was way enough for me to make a decision. Alrighty, next one. Actually, I'm going to skip three because they are going to be the same and one and a very important one. Monthly installment plan. Not a lot of schools will have monthly installment plan and we do have it for a fact. So if you guys are interested in not paying everything right away, if you want to split it into monthly payments, we do have that option available for you. Alrighty, and the next few are going to be combined into one. Trust, number one, from Sergi to the, to the materials that I'm giving to you and the way I'm explaining those materials on a YouTube. Energy, you guys can see me here, I'm always on fire and I'm always the same way during the webinars. So whenever you would be uncharged, I will charge you up during the webinars so you would be ready for work, you would be motivated to continue the education. Because if you go for a full course, it's a five months and a half, you will lose that battery, you know? And I will be there to help you out to keep it full. So you would get until the end of the course and you would start looking for a job as soon as possible. By the way, you will start looking for a job even before you finish the course. That's how some people find a jobs before they finish the course. You can probably see one of them right here. And his name was Arthur. Alrighty, and now the last one and my favorite one. There are not much good schools. That's what the guy said. There are not many good schools out there and yours is the only one that you found that was good. You know, there are a lot of advantages that I would think our school has and one of them is the most recent update that we've implemented. If you go through the full course, you will go through 114 rounds of interview. Just F. Why I? All right, now let's get to the last question. Are those reviews real on YouTube, on Google, and on your website? It was kind of interesting that person gave me the call and asked me, hey, are those reviews real that you put on a website or are they fake? If I would put the fake reviews, would I ever tell you that I did that? <laughs> Honestly, I did not. And you can literally Google every single person we have on our website every single person whose review we have on Google, every single person whose video we have on this channel. Because all of them have LinkedIn profiles, all of them have social media profiles, and all of them are more than welcome to answer your questions. So if you guys ever have any questions to any of our students, feel free to ask it on their YouTube video, in a Google, or if you want to give a call to the company the person works for and ask if the person really works for that company, feel free to do so. We actually did have a case when one of the guys who did not believe that Jahon got a QA manager position within two years after he started our course. By the way, his video is right here. That guy gave a call to the company and asked them, hey, is that guy really working for you? Is he a really QA manager? So make sure that you guys check all the facts about the companies you're planning to work with, you're planning to spend your money with. Because of course costs some money and I don't want you to waste your money. Awesome! I think these questions were very useful for you. You guys let me know if you did enjoy this video and also hit that like button if you did enjoy it. If you did not, leave a comment below and tell me that I suck and tell me why did you not enjoy this video. Otherwise, I would like you guys to leave a comment below under this video and let me know what what else you would like to hear about. Thank you for joining us and I'll see you next time.